Now to an update on the situation on the bridge there. The Coronado Bridge is back open and a memorial is growing for the four people killed by a drunk driver. 10 News reporter Matt Mendez is live in Chicano Park with how they're being honored. Matt. Well, Robert, this is just a heartbreaking story. This morning we've seen people coming out here checking out this memorial. You can see lit candles, also some flowers. This balloon says, I love you. As CHP officers say a drunk driver flew off this bridge and landed right here on the ground. You can still see some of the tire marks and caution tape. That's when that driver killed four people. It was chaotic and horrifying. Imagine standing at Chicano Park and seeing this truck fly off the Coronado Bridge. That's what thousands saw who were attending La Raza motorcycle run. This is something that we're all here to have a good time and enjoy and enjoy the, the atmosphere. And then something like this happens, just un unbelievable. Even over the sound of revving bike engines, Ray Martinez heard a loud screeching sound. It almost sounded like a, like a, like a gunfire. And then you've seen the, the, the vehicle come down. That's when the truck flew from the on-ramp to the bridge, toppling 60 feet into the park below. It landed on a tent set up by the wagon wheel bar from Pico Rivera. For Ray, it took a moment for what he saw to sink in. There's no other thought that, you know, but what's going, you know, what you see is somebody's got to be dead. In fact, four people died. Ray's brother Marcos ran with several others toward the truck, hoping to help rescue whoever he could. Just being human, man. Just human trying to reaction. see, just human reaction. Yeah, just being human. You know, we don't care who, who they are. They're human, man. You gotta try to take care of people. You know. It was striking seeing so many tough guys, bikers, so emotional over seeing something so shocking. For Marcos, even describing it became too much. <coughs> Yeah. I gotta go, man. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. It's really upsetting. One man among many wondering how something like this could happen. The evidence still there that it did. And again, those four victims, two of them from the Phoenix area, the other two from the L.A. area. Now, the driver of that car, a 24-year-old sailor, he's facing four counts of vehicular manslaughter and DUI. Live from Chicano Park, Matt Mendes, 10 News.